Hello and welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to make it all the way from where I am here, all the way up to D5, D6 there by the two cities. And there's also that trader there I want to check out. There's going to be a lot of running on the way, so I imagine I will do a lot of editing in this video. I'll cut out a lot. I'll just stop if I'm looting somewhere or whatever. Because this map is huge. I kind of wish the map was maybe... A little smaller with the cities, um, but you run so far in this thing, you just see nothing. Okay, well I wasn't lucky enough to find a pair of shoes, but I'm just going to head back to the cart here. I'm going to do a bunch of inventory management here, and I'll see you when I get to the next spot. At least that was a half decent amount of ammo. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna make my main base closer to that big city at the top. And I think I'll just make like a storage base for looting that smaller city at the on the side there of D6. Because I definitely need to take care of some food storage here. I'm not getting enough of it.
Well, I finally made it around the water to see what this trader has. Oh crap. Oh good. I thought I separated from my cart before I started swimming. I was worried that I dragged it in too far and I would have lost everything. And I think for the first time in this game, I finally remembered to clean up in the water here. I ended up grabbing Mechanics 1 and Metallurgy 1 off of him. It just took a long time to barter the right price, so I just figured for the sake of cutting things out here so I have time at the end for the base, I'll just eliminate most of that. There's a mine here on the right. I've never been inside one, but it looks like it could be interesting. And at least it's close to uh, the other places there. Finally reached the bridge here. The end is in sight. I think I've cut out about 40 minutes of running so far. And in that time I've seen no animals and no zombies. That part on the left almost looks like it could be a bandit camp. Almost looks like it's enclosed. I might just check a few houses here. I don't want to get too uh, off track here, but we'll see what kind of loot they might have.
Finally, a pair of shoes. Okay, that's some not bad stuff. I'll probably end up coming back here. I don't want to spend too much time here. Okay, I think that's enough for now. I'm just going to head back to the cart and carry on towards that spot I want to go. I wonder if you're going to be able to go to the top of those buildings. I have a feeling they'll probably be blocked off or limited somehow. Part of me is kind of disappointed in that, but part of me is happy because I can't imagine how much time it would take to loot in there. Yeah, I think this will be a good spot for a, a little base to store things. It's a short drive down the road to the other area too, so... And I think there's also mining up the hill behind me. So there should be lots of resources and everything I ever need around here. I'm just going to chop some trees, get some logs, and get some foundations laid here. This isn't going to be anything too spectacular to begin with. I'm just going to get some foundations down, some storage boxes, and probably a workbench or something like that. After I get these foundations laid, I'm going to have to do some inventory to make some room for logs. I'll just cut that out and I'll probably just time lapse the building.
I turned down the sound for that section because I imagine there was some breathing and um, if you want me to skip that stuff or if you want me to speed it up faster or if you have a preference at all just let me know Need to make a spawn point and a spot to rest up and get my energy back. I'm not sure what the city's gonna be like. Better safe than sorry, and I don't want to have to run an hour to get back here. Just going to gather the stuff I need for these in the boxes, and I'll be right back. I get knowledge credit for crafting this with the window open, so I'm just going to keep that going and I'll cut this out. Usually when I want rocks, I can never find rocks, but it looks like I got lucky here. Just gonna grab some logs and I'll finish off the last box there. I need to see if I can change the color of the cursor, that tiny little white dot in the center of the screen's hard to see. Or I'll just have to turn on my monitor's cursor.
Wow, I'm surprised he only took one shot. The other guys took too many shots. Even with missing half of them. Almost looked like that one headshot deflected off his helmet the way it ricocheted and hit the ground. I loot some stuff in here to help me with my stamina issues. Some food and stuff. Plus I need to just get better at it. Glad to see food because I imagine carbohydrates will help a lot. Okay, yeah, it looks like they blocked the access beyond a few floors. I'll see in that real tall one in a while. This room is shaping out to be good. I think the trader likes cigarettes. Well, that's nice. All that food alone made this building worth it.
Okay, yeah, I need my cart before I go exploring any further. I'm already full. After only one building, I can't imagine what the whole city is going to be like. I'm just going to head back and cook up some food. Oh man, you gotta take it off as soon as it's ready, almost. I wasn't paying attention there and that one burnt. Yeah, I'd say that was a pretty good haul for one building. Lots of bullets, lots of food, lots of drink. I'll probably just sort out my inventory here, then I'll call it here. Yeah, in the next one I will loot some more in this city. I'll see what it's like. See what other kind of stuff I can find. And then I will head up to that trader probably the top of d6 there and i'll see if he has a car kit if not i can just swing down to the other one and then i will hunt down a car hopefully there's a car around here because i don't want to go back to the other one there that i know of and who knows maybe i'll be able to find a truck somewhere anyways thank you for watching